Your step one, before you do any of this band mobilization to the ankle, is you must make sure that they're neutral. Which means if she's sitting here, like this, yeah, collapsed in, can you centrate an ankle that's sitting like that? No. So you would need to put that foot into this. <laughs> Keep them in neutral. So if I were to put her in neutral, right? So she's trying to try to get down in there. If I'm gonna put her in neutral, what rotation do I have to do to her tibia? External, right? And then her arch is down. What would I have to do to her navicular? Dorsiflexed, yeah, or lifted. So I would technically do that, right? And your knee is bent, so I mean, you're, I'm not going to torque your knee, but I would want to put you in a position more like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you either tell them what that position is, and you say, set your base, neutralize your foot, pick a word that you want to use, and that always means put your foot in neutral yeah. for your client, or you might have to manually do it until they know what that means. Yeah. Externally rotate tibia, lift navicular. If I do this, if you can bring your foot onto the floor, please, and then stand until you relax down. Yeah. So if I do this with her leg extended like this, you have to be really careful, right? You don't want to do this and this when her knee is extended because you can create torque again, right? So you would tell your client if you have to like really move them, you would say just a little bend in your knee. So she unlocks it, and then I would do the rotation. Does it make sense? Yeah, okay, good. Versus just trying to crank it out. Once they understand what that means, you don't have to keep moving them, they know to kind of set themselves up. Okay, that will be your step one for this. Okay, so come on up here. Good, so let's say, okay, so you, you, but it's not in the knee, right? So we're not doing that, right? So it has to be, it has to be this, yeah, not that. Make sure there's no frontal movement, okay? So for, for you, um, same thing, it's just a little bit of a spiral here, okay? And then you can go up that way, good. So she's here. Now I'm gonna show you three ways that you can do this, okay? I'm actually gonna move your heels to the So she's here, you have to stay in neutral. First way, here, you probably see this on the internet or YouTube. So you have to put the band, monster band, they have to be higher. They have to be sitting on something higher, okay? The band goes underneath the malleoli. Very important, okay? Under the malleoli, here is the crease of the ankle. I am now on the talus. I'm going this way, and then the pool is going to be down. If you've seen on the internet that some people will do just this way, that's not specific to the talus. You have to be under the malleoli. Okay, so under malleoli here, pull it down. Now you, I'm going to pull this here. You are going to translate your tibia forward 45 degrees. So keep forward to there, and then go back to 90 degrees to there. Go back forward again here. And then back to you. Okay, so small movement forward is back. If she kept going forward, go forward as far as you can. Like, like ooh, look at me, right? This, she's going to start pronating. As soon as she starts pronating, she's now going to start putting centration into her ankle again. So you want to do a smaller window or range of motion. I, the trainer, have to make sure that she's staying in neutral. Okay. This is first way. Second way is instead of bringing the talus back, I can bring the tibia or the fibula forward, which means I'm going this way. Okay. So now the band is here. I am not on the Achilles tendon because I can irritate the Achilles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting higher. This is the one that you need for a while to get rid of It's just like you still want it. It's not fun. Okay, so this is here. I'm holding on the chair just so it's a slide. Now I'm holding this way, and then you're going to translate it to be the same way. So 45 degrees, and then you're going to go back to zero. Slipping. Yeah. 
this is not the chair that you actually want to use, you can set the boxes on the Yes, you go forward and then you come back. Now what you're doing is you are probing, so I need you to stay here, okay? okay? And if you can't stay there when we're doing it, I need you to do even less translation. Okay? Because as soon as she probates, she goes to what we don't want her to. So she would just do a little bit and then all of it. Okay? So a little bit wider. Makes sense? Okay? That's two. Third, and when we do this, when you guys do this, you can put it on a mat so it doesn't slide. Okay? The third one is going to be right leg, right hand. Goes in, and I'm essentially combining the one and two. So I'm going to go here. Okay? When I do three, for the third one, no movement. No movement. Okay? I pull and I'm pushing. This action together, I just sit here passive. My hand is going, so I'm going to choose this. My hand is going that way, not that way. Okay? Ankles like this. Okay? And the this part of my hand is what's sitting on the table. Okay? So I don't want to do this hand because now I'm not getting that angle. So I would just hold there and hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You can do this, she relaxes while I do this. Yeah, you could hold for a minute and then release. She may feel, or the client may feel, just like you're opening up the joint, decompressing the joint. You may, in cases, especially if you do this one, but you do this with your decision about you're going to touch someone. Yeah, so you just use your own judgment on that. So holding here, you will sometimes feel which is a little bit different than the hip because this is a true translated bone where sometimes this is like a couple millimeters. If that happens, don't be scared. <laughs> and if that does happen, your client may feel dizzy, like headed. Anytime you shift a joint or just a joint, it can have a visceral response. So I've had some that are just like, oh, I feel really nauseous right now. And they just sit down and calm down and breathe like they want to breathe out and breathe. And then they can calm down. 